Okay, here we're going to graph the exponential function h of x equals e raised to the power of x plus 3. So recall that e to the x is our exponential function. Since e is greater than 1, e to the x will look, uh, it'll be an increasing exponential function. Notice that that goes to the point 0, 1. Well, here we have, we replaced x with x plus 3. And what that does is it actually shifts the graph. It's going to shift it left 3 units. So be careful, even though you see positive 3, it goes in the negative direction, the left direction. So that original point, 0, 1, if I move it 3 units to the left, that'll now be the point negative 3 comma 1. And notice that makes sense. If you substitute in x equals negative 3, we'll get e to the power of 0, which is 1. So you can always, uh, again, just plot points on these. But again, I, I, I like to think about it in terms of graph shifting because that is something that you can apply to lots of graphs. And now, okay, our graph's just going to keep getting larger and larger and larger. You know, we could even figure out the y-intercept the y-intercept would be when x equals 0. That would leave us with e to the third power. Let's see, so e to the third power. e to the third power is actually a little bit bigger than 20. So e to the third power uh, e to the third power is a little bit bigger than 20. So you can see that this graph gets really large really quickly. So I'm going to make it just get big quickly. And again, it's going to approach the x-axis as you move to the left, but it's never going to touch it. That x-axis or the, the line y equals 0, again, it's going to be a horizontal asymptote. But that would be a rough sketch of e raised to the power of x plus 3. Again, it's just taking the, the graph of e to the x and moving it three units to the left.